One thing that I was really on the lookout for were some new nightstands. Chris and I have some white nightstands that we've had probably at least 10 years ago. When we moved into our new house, I painted them, but they are in really rough shape. So I wanted to do something a little bit different. So I grabbed two of the Rast nightstands, I think that's what they're called, for $39.99 at Ikea. So with all Ikea furniture, you have to assemble it. But before I assembled the pieces, I decided that I really wanted that natural wood look, but on the edge pieces, I wanted them to be black. So I'm going to be painting them with two coats of ink by Waverly, and I'm just going to be doing the outside and then a little bit of the inner portion because I knew it was going to be on the inside and I wouldn't see all of it, but I was worried that I'd be able to see some of it on the edge. Edges, so I went ahead and at least painted a little bit on the inside. So next I went through and assembled these nightstands together. I'm not as big of a fan of assembling things with drawers because it does take a little bit longer. I will tell you, since we do a lot of shopping at Ikea, my husband had the great idea to get this hex wrench drill bit set that they sell at Ikea and this has been great for all of like all of the Ikea screws use this drill bit set and it was pretty inexpensive on Amazon I'll link it for you below but I'm going to assemble the entire nightstand and drawers included now I will say with this nightstand, I really don't like it whenever drawers stick. And I would say maybe like one of the drawers on each of the nightstands was having a really difficult time sticking. The others would slide in and out just fine. So let me know if you guys have any tips to make them not stick as well. I don't know. If that's a huge deal breaker for you, I know that I had trouble with two of them with them sticking. So just wanted to let you guys know that. I also wanted to add in some new hardware. They come with some wooden knobs that, you know, are okay, but I ended up picking up these like antique gold knobs off of Amazon. And because they came in a set of 10, I did have to purchase two because I needed 12 of them and they were really the knobs that I wanted, but I can always use those. You guys know I'm always putting new knobs on different pieces of furniture, so I wasn't so much worried about that. So I'm going to add the knobs on before I put the drawers in. So I grabbed some legs off of Amazon and I tried to find a natural leg that would match like the natural wood and it didn't look good. But I figured that's okay. If they didn't work, I would just paint them black. Well, the next problem I ran into was how to put the legs on the bottom because the bottom of the piece was the drawer. So the solution that I came up with was to cut two boards that are one by two in length. 
the legs that I purchased came with the whole mounting kit with it. So all I had to do was take each of the boards and then I measured in three and a half inches because I want the legs to be in about that far. Then I'm going to use a drill bit that's the same size as my mounting bracket and just drill a hole into the board. And I'm gonna do that on both sides with all of my boards. Next, I'll put the mounting bracket in, and then each of the mounting brackets had three screws that needed to fit in. So I drilled holes and then put the screws in place. So then to get the boards onto my nightstand, what I did was I held the board in place and then I drilled holes in the side. I did two holes and then I just put in some screws that I already had on hand on both sides. And the reason I was okay with that is because there was already screws on the side from putting it together and I was painting it black so I figured I could just paint these black as well. And I repeated those steps on the other side. Once I did that, I was able to twist the legs in. Now I'm gonna repeat that same process for the back of my nightstand, just making sure that the board is all the way to the back. Now I repeated this with both of my nightstands, but I'm not gonna make you watch me doing both of them. So like I said, I wanted to paint the legs black, so I just tipped them upside down, and I'm gonna paint all of the legs black. I ended up only having to do one coat. And then I also went back on the sides and painted that black as well. So this piece definitely needed a sealer, so I went through and added clear wax by Annie Sloan, but if I could do it again, I would probably just do a water-based clear coat. This is the one I have on hand. There's so many of these that I have used and liked, but I feel like this may have been a better option, and I may even go back and seal the black with this. The last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to screw these nightstands into the wall in case I have trouble with pulling out the drawers or anything. And since I put the legs on them, I don't want them to topple over. So we're going to screw them into the wall. And here's a look at how the nightstands turned out. Hey guys, I'm Liz and you're watching my second DIY channel where I post daily DIY videos. You may be familiar with my main channel, Liz Fibwick DIY, but I'm glad that you found me over here on my second channel. Make sure that you're subscribed so you just get notified every day when I post our daily DIY video.